Forward pocket for the Saints. Low again. Oh, he's caught high. No free kick. And eventually the ball hits the behind post. I think initially that tackle was around the chest, Peter, and then the low going to ground. Exactly. Well, it looks like the phone is back in action. Kenny Shelton will be pleased about that, but more particularly the runner. Russell Morris plays for the free kick and gets it for holding the man. So, a free kick to Russell Morris, almost directly in front. Was he in possession of the ball? Well, Collingwood have had most of the play. Chance for the Saints to hit the front, in fact, by a point if he kicks this. Russell Morris stabs. Oh, did he sneak it in? Yes, he did. Woods receives from Monkhorst. In towards half forward. Oh, the man who really went hard at that was Daniels. Daniels hooks it around the corner. Two uh, St Kilda players waited for it. Harvey. Now, how the umpire see that? Daniels again. Bowie. Here's their chance, the Saints. Lockett at low. Low should mark. And Lockett. Good play by Lockett. Excellent play with the Shepherd. Well, Sorry. This is low. Stuart low. So, to put the Saints a point in front if he kicks this goal. Stewie low. Stabs. Will it sneak in? I think it's over the line for a goal. Yes. But Harvey's there again. What a game he's playing, Robert Harvey. The hand pass outside the 50 to Pekin. Pekin off the left, over the centre circle. Kick it's been quiet, but takes the mark low to the ground. Saints desperately in need of a goal. Lockett's taken one mark and had one kick. Kick it goes wide to Winmar. They're in trouble at centre field. Long kick by Winmar. Goes over Lockett at the back low. He's played a great game, hasn't he, Cherry? That was his fourth mark. And with his ninth kick, he's kicked an important goal. Burke at halfback. Into Vitovic. Well, the ruck contest has been interesting. Monkhorst has had uh, 13 possessions, but Vitovic's had 13 as well. Ralph Smith. Up towards the 50. Woods gets back there. But Lowe charges at it and takes another mark. Woods could have gone a bit hard at that one. Dwyer beats a man. Goes for goal. It's home. Strangely, when these two played a draw last year, it was their first draw in nearly 100 years. Christian's kick smothered. Comes to Dwyer. He hacks it out of the pack. Chance for St Kilda. Free kick. Free kick to Fletcher. Fletcher, 40 metres out. Doesn't kick that strongly. Did it get home? It did. Francis and Bowie having a bit of a how you do behind play. And it's no wonder Francis a little bit uh, frustrated. He started the game well, earning five possessions early. But since then, has only featured a couple of times. Devonport up to Pekin. And back to Devonport, through the middle. Kick by Devonport is good for Lockett. Too strong on that occasion. Good leap. And there they are at it again. Bowie and Francis. Francis has got to get himself back in touch with the football. Lockett kicks his first for the day. Well, the Pies had a break, but now some killed the lead by eight points. Alan Richardson, a quick kick to the half forward line. Collingwood need to get something moving up forward. Oh, it comes to the dangerous Harvey. He's off and running. Breaks the tackle easily, Robert Harvey. Having a great game. In towards half forward, he's found the former Geelong player in Fletcher. So Kilda starting off well in this third term. Fletcher going long. He's looking for Lockett. And Winmar over the back. Lockett gets onto the right hand. Gives it to kick it. They'll kick it into an open goal. And he slams it through for a goal. Well, Dale Kickett, who did his pre-season with Claremont. Previous stints with Fitzroy and the West Coast Eagles. Saints forward again. Harvey gets it back with an old one-two. Harvey to lock it. One out. Ooh. Not this time. In comes Kickett. He's got a chance for his second. Goes back to Fletcher. Fletcher pops and pops up to Dwyer. And Dwyer kicks the goal. What a start for the Saints in the second half. They've got to move it quicker to their big forwards, the Saints. Now, there's Steve Newport. Low. Now, was he edged out? Oh, the umpire put the whistle up. Bowie left. Oh, boy. Not paid. What did you think, Jared? Well, initially, the free kick, the uh, grab was around the waist. But finally, the legs were impeded, and that's why he was tripped. He was off and running. Free kick for mine, Pete. 
Lowe versus Monkhorst. Monkhorst wins that one. Who'll end up with the ball? Robert Harvey on the left foot. Good play because he found Vitovic. He'll want a handball here, Vitovic. There's no point handballing to that play, though. He's only going out to the flank. He's got to go straight to Lockett. Vitovic down to Lockett. Lockett. Mark. Yes. Strength. Hurt looks at the umpire in despair, but Lockett just used that big frame. And Gavin Krasicia coming off the ground. He'll be replaced by Stasevic. But here's the replay. Vitovic finally gets the ball down to Lockett. Lockett with the strength. And it's amazing that experienced players like Tim Peake and call for that ball on the half forward flank. Get playing indirect football when they've got those champions up forward. Tony Lockett, a vital kick in the context of this game. Oh, what's he done? It's close. I think he's goal. He has. It's two, a steadier one, steadier for the Saints, 9-8, play 7-7. Two minutes, 36 to go to three-quarter time. Morris kicks in, Grant works to the front, McCartney spoils, it comes to Harvey, a 25-metre hand pass to Pekin. Doing it by hand, St Kilda. Dwyer, long, the two forwards are there, low and lock it. Right. One kick the difference. St Kilda now by 12 points. Gilbert McAdam races after it. McAdam, oh, desperation. That helps win games, that. Bowie. Now Fletcher. They're off and running the Saints. Here's Mick Dwyer. Around the corner he goes to the half-forward line. Stewie Lowe. The big mitts go up and he grabs it. Danger here for Collingwood. They do not want St Kilda to start with a goal. Dale kick it will fly at the rear. Who'll end up with a loose ball? It's Devonport from 50 metres, an open goal looms. Craig Devonport kicks, and Craig Devonport's goal. The Saints, they kick clear, 11-9 to 8-8. Well, his players have been in these close games so often. Don't write them off yet. Scott Russell, the kick up to the 50. Good distance with that kick. Here's Dacos. We've seen very little of the magic of Dacos today. But here's a bit now. He paddles the ball up the ground. Prasiska comes in board, but it's chopped off by Fletcher. And with poise, Fletcher finds Grant. David Green has been a good, honest contributor. Oh, danger here for Collingwood because Gilbert McAdam gives it to McGuire. Where's the big fella, Lockett? He ducks back into the square. Lowe's there also. Low and Lockett. Low punched away. Oh, Lockett! Kick four goals, and it's very difficult for Collingwood now. They're back, but they're under pressure now. Woods tried to bounce around, but couldn't get around. He's got it again. The tackling of St Kilda, superb. That was Winmar that time. McAdam for St Kilda. He's passed a half forward. Low again. Great play, that one. Direct. Fletcher. Lock it. Is that a free kick? I think the umpire had played. Play he had played it, and he took the mark anyway. Lock it. Directly in front for his fifth goal of the game. Tony Lockett, the big full forward, splits the centre. So he's kicked five and he's having plenty to say the big full forward to the umpire. He really let him have it. Taken over by Devonport. Eight seconds remaining. The Ruckman have given superb displays. And right over the top, Morris. Collingwood at Waverley, a side which we had not a good record against, a, a side which was in the press clear favourites, our players never thought the result was in, going to be in doubt. We approached the game in a manner which every St Kilda supporter could be extremely proud of. And to win it, our first final in 18 years, and for the for the ardent and loyal 
St Kilda follower to win it against Collingwood really capped off a great day. The, the comment was made by myself to the press after the game, it's only one final. Don't make heroes of these players. Don't make heroes of this club. It is only a final. But everybody had been starved for so long of such a feeling that it was always going to be very, very difficult to curb, keep the lid on. I think our players, although aware of it and doing a good job keeping the lid on it, particularly early in the, in the week, in the end were outweighed by the mass of media, by the mass of comment. You know, several of our players were asked during the week, you know, will Danny Frawley be right for the grand final? Like if, you, if they were asked once, they were asked a thousand times. So the, the focus was just shifted slightly from the first semi-final versus Footscray to counting our chickens before they're actually hatched, just, just looking a little bit further ahead. 